We are healthy, functioning adults who definitely do not have cinnamon rolls for breakfast. Good morning. Hi. Hello. Hello. So we're gonna do a thing. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And Evan Peters, I'm sorry, but the way Peter maps him off is freaking no one but Evan Peters can play him. Freaking Evan Peters is awesome. As a book silver. The X-Men movies are great, though. I love all the casting they've done. I just love McAvoy's Charles and Xavier. I know you love James McAvoy and Charles and Xavier. I just love James McAvoy in general. He deserves a fucking award for Split, okay? He better get one for Glass. I swear to God. That is his best acting I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my god, this is so good. <laughs> you like me to sit What else? Excuse us if we're loopy. We only slept like four hours each last night. Well, that was not over two hours at the same time, I swear to God. Oh, well, part of it was probably the, like the beginning of the night. I don't know. It's, it's, like, it's probably from Saturday or the Mexican food. I keep so much reason to eat Saturday apparently. But my other friend was in a. Uh, no, it's <laughs> not. Beans, they make you go to the bathroom, guys. Mm. They make you part. Future plans, what do you have planned other than your novel? Yeah, my future. So I'm hoping to be in Oregon by my birthday in January. Mm-hmm. I think I have that info on my Tumblr if you want to know when that is. Wow. Well, I'm going to move in with some friendos from high school. Friendos. La And go reaper. And. Um, of course, so, well, I get out there, but I still have to live with her parents. She's live, currently living with her parents. She's living with her mom, yeah. Mm-hmm. They've got money. Mm-hmm. And her mom just had a baby. Mm-hmm. And he's the cutest second baby ever. Oh, I really love him. He's so cute. So adorable. See, I have, like, a long-term, long-term, long-term goals on, like, my dream work. And I'm like, well, the main one has always been moving alone, and that's when the things go to hit. We had this joke in my family that was uh, British in a past life, or I was supposed to be British. You were. <laughs> I. Like, I, I, I naturally say and do things that are really British, and like, even my parents are like, where did you get that from? She could, honestly, she could slip into a British accent flawlessly. And like sound like she's just accidentally slipping back into what she's supposed to sound like. Apparently, yeah. Apparently, my accent's really good, and that's what people keep telling me at least. I'm like, okay, sure. I'm just British, apparently. Okay. I'm secretly British. Um, you're gonna be British when I'm gonna come see you and hope to be Tom Holland. I'm here. You want Hills? Tom Holland. I love him, guys. I love Tom Holland. It is so bad because I've always been a thing for like guys way older than me. You have. Like ever since I've been on the forever. It's always been a thing. Like all these girls now online are like, oh my god, it's so weird. I think that I think person is like 20 years older than me. Oh, like that's just been my life. <laughs> that's been my entire fucking life. And it's so bad. You know who's really attractive that's like way older than us? Huh. RJ. Like. Not for me, but not for you, but he got, he got the look that it's like, he's, you, you he's, can he's see, handsome. he's happy, like, I, you can see why girls are like, ooh, like, yeah. into that. Yeah, I can absolutely see it, but it's not for me. Not for you. <laughs> oh, you know why, you know who I've been into, like, my whole life? Orlando Bloom. I can't blame you for that. Like, pretty Orlando um, Bloom is gorgeous, especially at Legolas. You know. Yes. You can't, you can't. Wasn't the last Hobbit movie where there was one guy who looked more like Orlando Bloom than Orlando Bloom looked like Orlando Bloom? Yeah, so he looked more like Orlando Bloom. <laughs> I can't remember, I think his name was like, I can't remember his name, I think he's right with a B. But he it was the Bard or something. He's Bard, that's yeah. what I was. He looks more like, he looks just like Orlando Bloom if Orlando Bloom wasn't a costume. I was literally like, is that Orlando Bloom? <laughs> is that Orlando Bloom? Right. <laughs> so he looks like Orlando Bloom does it's Will Turner. It was funny. It was like, really that's what it is. He looks like Will. Um, no. He looks like Will Turner. That's how Orlando Bloom looks normally when he's not in that beautiful wig mm-hmm. and all the fancy clothes. I grew up with that. Just, okay. The other thing I grew up with is because my dad's a theater actor is Shakespeare, so I've always read and watched Shakespeare. I love Shakespeare too, but um, Romeo and Juliet is kind of awful. <laughs> I don't feel that way at all. What is with these people? Romeo and Juliet. It's 
It's like a trend. I'm talking to the internet. Like, I don't know what you get. I don't, I don't, like, okay, I don't hate Romeo and Juliet because it's trendy. I hate Romeo and Juliet because they're a bunch of stupid teenagers. And you know what? You guys can at me about this. You can <laughs> at me about this because I fucking love Hamlet. Okay? Hamlet is her life. I love Hamlet's angsty teen bullshit. And it's obviously gayness for Horatio. They're so gay. They're so gay. Hamlet and Horatio are so gay. Like, there's no way Hamlet and Horatio and Ophelia board all of them together. Mm. Like, y'all can ask me about that because I know it's down. Have you ever read, um, is it Richard the Second? Or that the whole series where it's just like, all the kings like picks her I'm trying to. Or she watched the Hollow Crown. Yeah. Because um, I was watching that with my dad. And it was Ben Michelle, and the first one was Richard the second. And then, oh my god, I'm forgetting the names of the hotel. Um, Henry. Henry the fourth yeah. and fifth. And that's yeah. Henry the fourth is Jeremy Irons, and Henry the fifth is um, Tom Hilston. That's such a different role for him. Seriously? Adults. Yeah. Oh my god, okay, Jeff's just there to those guys. It was like, like a completely different role for him, I really liked it. He does love his Shakespeare, though. That's what I really appreciate about him. Yeah, I appreciate it about him, though, <laughs> is that um, he does like Shakespeare. Because I think that's part of my attraction. I'm like, this is a dude who appreciates Shakespeare. The last Shakespeare I read that wasn't Hamlet it was my senior year of high school. Mm-hmm. It was Othello. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and cool. my teacher made it so awful for us because she had to read it. She was like, she would stop because we'd read it in class. Yeah. And she'd stop and be like, all right, you guys may have missed that, but that was a joke about, you know, the genitals. We're like, we all know what it's a joke. joke. We all know what it's a joke. We know what it is to jokes in Shakespeare. But I didn't hide it. <laughs> before that, I had read Hamlet my junior year. I read two of my junior years. I was an honors English student junior year. I read Hamlet and I read that Scottish play. I'm an actress. So I will never ever say it. The only time I have, I will slap you in the face. <laughs> the only time I have was is in Hamilton in, what is it? I'll take a break. Yeah, yeah, take a break. He, he refers to himself as him. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying right now. It's fine. All the world's a stage. <laughs> oh, that person. Look at all. No, it's all my face. Oh, <laughs> and then, oh, my junior year, I was in The Tempest. I was your narrator. Okay, narrator, because let's be honest, not everyone's gonna know what the F is going on. So we would narrate, we narrated. Jakey was Jakey was one of the drums. Yes, he was, that was a perfect role Beautiful for him. Beautiful role for him. He was so good at that. A lot of our roles, all of our noble roles, were all played by women to change the names. Yeah, um Liz was Prospero. Prospero. Who became Prospera. Car was the best Miranda. Car was so good. She was beautiful. Our, I'm gonna tell the story. So, we were doing it. Um, my drama teacher, our director, was like, "Hey, we're gonna sell hot dogs too during intermission." So like, cool. Now Miranda, <laughs> I call her Miranda. It's, it's who she is. She played. Miranda gets a hot dog. So we would send like the uh, stage crew with money, and they would buy snacks, coffee, whatever we wanted during intermission. <laughs> She gets a hot dog. It's covered in mustard. Ferdinand comes up to her. It's like, bro, the fuck. No, he didn't say that, but bro, we go. <laughs> I mean, that's the kind of guy he kind of was. He was like, yeah. bro, you're gonna eat all that mustard before I kiss. She's like, yeah, yeah, I do about it. Deal with it. So that happened, and then the next day, he comes with a bottle of mustard and just goes, beautiful, beautiful. Our Ferdinand also one day we were circling him. Our, t- our director is like, does anyone have anything to share? And he's like, um, guys, so I want to go take a shower. And I'm just warning all the guys now, because we're in the same dressing room. Um, I forgot to wear underwear. So he went home with a pair of red tights. Those are forever his. Because. No one wants that. No one wants that. We're going to the aquarium. We're going to go to see the fishies. I think they finished the theater. Awesome. The, we all won, yeah? I was reading about it last night. 
That'll be probably in the vlog. You're gonna puke. You're gonna puke? I didn't tire of the Guys. Your central's not on. Yours is like still there. Mine is still there because I've been talking to the camera. I've been talking to stuff in my face. True. I have like, you're right, I think it's all over you. I'm a mess. But we're hot messes. Together. Together. I think that's all I'm gonna talk about. It is because I finished my cinnamon roll already. Right? I have a cinnamon roll and we do need to get ready to go. Yeah. Whoa, it's me again. Hey, so explanation, kind of like how I did on the other video. I don't know which one was coming up first, but essentially, we talked over half an hour. I didn't know my camera shuts off or cuts off the filming after the half hour mark. So it cut off right before we got to actually do the outro that we filmed. So I have to film it now. Welcome to my channel. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what I'm doing here. I hope you're not wanting a theme because there's no theme for this channel. We, I just talk. So if you're into that, Cool. Thank you so much for watching and sticking around to the end if you did, and maybe I will see you next time. Okay, bye. Like a bird on a tree, I'm just sitting here. I got time, it's clear to see.